Galaxy's Heir to Forgotten Dreams by Christopher Collingwood In design our genes were poetry, in truth they were a scroll to madness, our minds unraveling with the helix. We sought covenant with our forgotten dreams, redemption of our progenitor's legacy who attempted to bring forth the gods of myth by genetic awakening, stripped of childish metaphors. We became the titans born of legend, not realizing that their vision brought forth a bequest of tragedy. Liberated from mortality, we were to embrace the wonders of the universe, to seed upon the stars a new enlightenment, Wielding science as our talisman, our achievements rested on the shoulders of natural law, until our perfection fell short of the entitlements of Olympus. Hubris conceding a cursed gene struck us down with madness, holding vigil in our deepest sleep, a tragedy that escaped our greatest aptitudes beyond our scope of reason. We delved into the alchemy of our ancient lineage, discovering the vice that freed the mortals, dreams, the salvation to our madness. We turned to the mind machines, heralds of man's progeny, who held the pagan knowledge in memorial. Your dreams have been lost to the stars, to rediscover moonlit waters, rainbows, Dragons and fairies, you must surrender to your innocence. From these stories, your humanity will be remade. Destroying the fragments of lucid meaning, we discovered the data of our relevance, the remnants of humanity, an organic mass in archive, once kept in orbit, now lost to space over the eons. We gained no wisdom in these prophecies and burnt the skies in great chariots with no pretense of a creative learning. We voyaged to the most distant galaxies in search of fantasy, myth, and legend. Discovering the stars did not admire us as gods. We wandered alone upon the immortal realms, humbled by the ancient temples of nebulae. We became children, lingering in time and madness, until the celestial eye felt pity for us and gave us a vision to our destiny. We didn't listen to the warnings, nor seek to reconcile with innocence, coveting the gift's evolution. Truth was revealed to us in space, a giant brain pulsating with primordial presence, holding claim to our birthright citing stories of forgotten youth, not worthy of our lineage. Years of torment made us fierce, smoldering like childish gods, without the wisdom to understand. We sought our tribute and brought battle to the beast, forcing fealty to our forgotten secrets, clashing against the wake of a dying star, a conflict brought to darkness. Fighting the battle on rational terms, we perceived images and thoughts of distant realms, wanders beyond belief. Outside our treaty of calculation, we wielded our power with such grandeur, it found its place in cosmic chaos, until we drew our greatest weapon, intellect ablaze in destructive form, Consuming the light of a distant pulsar, we struck deeply at the beast with the very madness we had fought against. Watching it die, we relished our victory. The legacy of our forebears had been secured, and we would once again bear the sanctity of a superior birth, not realizing that the curse of our lineage had been fulfilled. We examined the brain deeply, but found no moonlit waterfalls, no dragons, no fairies, no rainbows, only tissues and fluids, cells and synapses, 
all that reason had told us to expect, the organic continuance of nature, the privilege of mankind had eluded us, and having slain the beast, we had lost the means of regaining our dreams. We had inspired our final tragedy, an irony which had been lost upon the arrogant heirs of earth. All we could do now was walk silently into eternity, having fallen from such heights that only the gods could know, leaving us to envy mankind, knowing time had no sympathy for fallen gods, and only dreams could fulfill the promise of an endless horizon. That was the true privilege of mankind. Fear not, the gods that visit you by the horizon of a dream. They only seek the guise of innocence and the humbleness of humanity. From the Remembrance of New Gods by Vibes for Mind Machine.